Hi, in this tutorial we will continue with our study of relational algebra. Now we will see the division. The division operator is actually considered not to be a primitive operator because it can be implemented using others. However, we will be using this because it's very useful for queries that involve the all keyword like the one that is presented here in this example, it says find the sailors who have reserved all boats. When we see this type of keyword, we will know that this is a type of uh, division that, that we will have to use some type of division for solving this, this type of query. So here this is a formal definition of dividing two tables A and B, in which A has two columns x and y and b has just one which is y now notice that the tables or attributes of b they are all containing a and a has something else that is not in b which is x and the result is a set of tuples that contains that x right so then this is this is what this means the division of a and b will be the tuples x in this case a was such that for every y there is a tuple x, y in A. So that means every y, that means all elements of B. Well, there will be something, there will be always a tuple x and y. Then um, we will see that this can also be implemented in, in uh, using other type of operators. But let's see how that looks. For example, here we got four tables, table A, table B1, table B2, and table B3. And then we got three possible divisions. So A divided by B1. Here we go with the definition, look, all attributes or columns from B1 are in A1. In this case, it's PNO, so PNO is here. And then the answer will be those SNO, the supply numbers, this is product number, the supply numbers such that all PNO are in B1. That will be the division of A divided by B1. So who are the ones that contains the SNO that contains all elements, which is just one, which is PNO? Well, S1 here has PNO, so that's in the answer. Who else has P2? S2 has P2, and S3 has P2, and X4 has P2. So the answer is S1, S2, S3, and S4. Now, look at the difference between B1 and B2 when we do the division. So now we're looking for SNOs that contains the P2 and the P4. So let's see, S1 has a P1, but S1 has also P4, so it's okay. So S1 has P1 and S1 is P4, so S1 should be my answer. Let's see S2. S2 has P2, but S2 doesn't have P4, so it doesn't have all elements of B2. Then it's not in the answer. The same happens with S3. S3 has P2, but it's not at P4 there. Then no. Then S4 has P2 and P4, which is all elements of P2. This is it. So in this case, will be, for example, let's suppose that P2, B, P2 is all my parts. And then I'm looking for the providers that provides all parts that are in P2. And these are two, the two providers, S2, S, S1 and S4. They provide all parts in P2, P2, P4, and P, and, uh, P2 and P4. Now, let's go and look. The word looking for providers is one that provides all parts, P1, P2, and P4, all parts in B3. P2, P2, P1, P2, and P4. And the answer is S1. S1 is the only one that has that provides P1, P2, and P4. It provides something else, but that doesn't say that we want only those. So this, this is what the answer looks like. So that's what we said if we have a query that involves that type of uh, language, then the division will be what we will be using. So here is just um, an idea of, of a justification why division is not a basic operator, because it can be implemented uh, with uh, uh, other operators. Like for example here, let's see here doing this in two parts. This is A. And then on A, we project that on X. So remember that we're doing the division of A and B. And then remember that A has X and Y, and B has just Y. So here we project on X, 
on A, these are all possible exits. And then if we do the cross product with uh, B, B contains Y, we got the tuples X and Y, right? Now, A contains X and Y, but then if we take away the X, the A, then we get with the disqualified values on X. That means which one are the X's that don't contain all values of, of, of B. This will be step number one. Let's say that we make the assignment of this or disqualify X of X values. And then if we're looking for the answer, then here, I mean, we project on X and then here we get the X's that doesn't have all elements of go with the Y. And then here we just do the subtraction and this will give us the answer, which is equivalent to the A divided by B. So you see that there is a lot of steps that we need to do. And this, this sometimes is a, is a query that is frequent. That's what we had like a kind of a shortcut and we had the division operator. Okay, so now let's review some uh, exercises now that we're done with the basic operators, all the operators from that we need for relational algebra. So here, for example, we have another query. This is find the sailors who have reserved over boats, number three. So now for, for this chapter, in case that you haven't noticed, we're, we're talking about three tables, sailors, reserves, and boats. So if we want names of sailors who have reserved boat number um, three, the identification is 103, I mean 103, then we only need two tables. And this is the solution that looks very intuitive. We just make the join with reserves and sailors. And reserves, we select the ones with that both identification 103, and we do the join, and then we project over name. So this is a very good solution. Now, this is illustrating that there are other ways of solving this problem. I mean, solution number one is fine. So in solution number two, this is the way that they do the assignment. Remember that we do that some assignment in my in, uh, in the previous lecture on algebra. So here it says, okay, step number one, let's get the uh, votes, the, the both, I mean, the data for both 103 and put that in temp one. So this variable temp one is the relation that contains only the information for both 103. Now, that we got that temp one, let's do the join on with sailors, and then we get that information. So we're gonna see who has reserved that boat and get that in temp two. Now we project the name, and then we get the, the, the answer, which is the same as solution number one. Now, another way, solution number three, which is not very efficient, we're doing the reserves of the sailors first, and then later we do the the sigma. Why I say that is not very efficient? Because remember that this uses a Cartesian product, and then in here it reserves, let's suppose that this is 200, so we're doing 200 times, and let's say that this is, I don't know, 10 sailors, so that will be 2,000 tuples. While in here, when we do reserves and we do the sigma, we just have 1 times 10, we got 10, so that's a big difference of doing 10 or doing the other number that I just said. Okay, so now let's see. Now this is this this wasn't illustrating the the division. We're just doing a review of all the main operators. So now here we have um, another query that talks about sailors who have reserved a red boat. So this is this is very similar to the previous one. So we can just join the the at the, the boat tables to the join to the expression because reserves doesn't have the color the color is on boats so we're just doing the 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 join so this is like solution number one which is okay and now talking about more efficient solutions is this now the question why is that more efficient because here we're doing the selection and then we got rid of some attributes that we didn't need and then we do the join, and then again we got rid of some columns, so that makes the table smaller when we're doing the Cartesian product, and that makes the query more efficient. Okay, so now here is an OR. So on the previous query, I don't think we did the same, but okay, on this we want to have the ones that have reserved a green or a, a red. So here we get all the boats that are red or green. That symbol that looks like a V is Victor means an OR. So we can use the spell the OR operator or use that. 
So the, the, the sign in that are 10 volts. And then we do the join. And then uh, we will do the um, projection over name. Now there is a question that we can maybe do the substitution using the union and that will be the case. So we could do a sigma on red votes and then that can be maybe my T1 and then I can do a sigma on votes with the color equal green and that will be my T2 and then I can do union T1 with T2 and that will be equivalent to my 10 votes. Now the other question that says what happens if I substitute the or for an N that will give us a common mistake because color cannot be red and green at the same time. And when we got queries like, for example, find sellers who have reset a red or a green vote, we usually do that. We do color and red and color equals green. That's an error. Why? Because we're looking at a tuple at the time, and then at the tuple at the time, remember, we don't have multiple value attributes, so it cannot be red and green. So we will see an example that is coming, how, how we will handle that. So here, this is the example. So what about if we have to do a red or a green? Well, we do what we were discussing before, getting the reds and then the greens. And then once we do that, um, who had made the rest, then we join that with reservation. So here we got the identification of somebody that make a reservation for a red and then somebody that make the reservation for a green. Then we do the intersection and then we get the name by doing the next join. So that's the way that we solve. So these two queries look very similar. If you look at the queries, the only difference is that one said N and the other said O. Now, this is one that illustrates finally the division. So find the name of the sailors who have reserved all votes. So then we go with the reserves. And while we're doing this pi, because if I do reserves and then divide it by votes, we will have a problem because remember all attributes that are in this side of the division needs to be contained in this side. So for example, reserves also has a date and then we don't want that to be in the answer. And then the answer will be the SIDs. And then that would has to be the um, that if I leave the date here, it will be the, uh, the sailors who have reserved all votes on the same date. And we don't want that. So we take that away. And here we need to take away the other attributes that are not contained on reserves. So then by doing the division, it will be the SID that contains all BIDs that are in this side. So now that I have the SIDs, I need to get the names. Then I need to do the join, so I'm assigning that to temp SIDs. Then I do the sailors, and then I get the names. Um, so this is just the summary of the what we discuss in this chapter. What this is, is I think this is the best way of understanding the, the uh, operators that we have in the relational databases to, to do queries and then in relational algebra. I think once we really understand that, we will be able to. We will follow the logic to solve any possible query that we have. And um, so also this will provide us a way of understanding where we need to do some query optimizer or optimization. Like uh, there are queries that they are okay, they are correct, and then takes for a while to resolve. We don't get an answer because, like I said, a Cartesian product is very expensive, and then we know that we can do the sigmas and the pi as soon as possible. That's what we call the query optimization, and then the, the queries become more efficient. Thank you.